वेलकम टू फिजिक्स मैग्नेटिज्म सेशन थ्री एम ऑफ टूडे सेशन इज टू स्टडी अबाउट डाइपोल डाइपोल इंटरक्शन सेकेंड अर्थ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड फाइनली मैपिंग ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फर्स्ट लेट स्टडी अबाउट डाइपोल डाइपोल इंटरक्शन हियर वी हैव टेकन टू डाइपोल्स डाइपोल्स आर अलॉन्ग द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग देयर सेंटर्स दिस इज नॉर्थ पोल साउथ पोल ऑफ द बार मैग्नेट नॉर्थ एंड साउथ पोल ऑफ द बार मैग्नेट the magnetic movement of this first bar magnet will be in this direction this is m1 magnetic movement of the second bar magnet also will be in the same direction this is m2 if the opposite poles of the two dipoles face each other the field due to m1 at the position of m2 that is here we can calculate it that is called magnetic field b1 which is along axial line which will be m0 by 4 pi 2 m1 by r cube Phi phi is zero here. So the couple on M2 due to bar magnet M1 that is due to the magnetic field at this point that is B1 magnetic field. Here the magnetic field will be B1. We can calculate it. The magnetic field at the center of second dipole due to the first. We'll call this as B1 vector mu naught by 4 pi 2 M1 divided by R cube. Where R is the distance from the center of the first bar magnet to the center of the second bar magnet. This distance is R. So couple on M2 due to M1 vector. That will be C2 is equal to M2 vector cross B1 vector. It is equal to zero. Why? As M2 vector is parallel to B1 vector. That is angle between them is theta is equal to zero. Similarly, we can calculate C1. Because of the second bar magnet, couple on M1 vector due to M2, that is C1 is equal to M1 vector cross B2, and this also will be equal to zero. Since M1 is parallel to B2, and here also theta is equal to zero, the dipoles will not exert any couple on each other. The dipoles will not exert any couple on each other. Let us see about the interaction energy of the system. Interaction energy of the system U is equal to magnetic movement dot magnetic field vector. Potential energy of M2 in the field of M1 or M1 in the field of M2. Potential energy of M2 vector in the field of M1 or M1 in the field of M2. So we can write this one as U is equal to minus M2 dot B1. That is the magnetic movement of this this is m2 this is vector m1 magnetic movement vector m1 the magnetic field of this magnet at the site of this this magnetic field is b1 or it is also equal to minus m1 vector magnetic movement m1 dot b2 it will be equal to minus mu naught by 4 pi 2 m1 m2 divided by r cube r is the distance we have taken from center to the center of each bar magnet we have to calculate suppose the force f is equal to minus du by dr we can get the force of interaction so force on m1 due to m2 or m2 on m1 will be f1 is equal to f2 that is equal to minus d by dr of minus mu naught by 4 pi into 2 m1 m2 divided by r cube so on differentiating it we get this as minus mu naught by 4 pi 6 m1 m2 by r to the power 4 from this equation clear that interaction force is with a negative sign that is attractive and varies as 1 by r to the power 4 this is with a negative sign so it's an attractive in nature and varies as r to the power of 4 if the similar poles of the bar magnet or the dipoles face each other then theta will be 180 degree so u and hence f will be positive that is repulsive so if this north pole faces the north pole there will be repulsive force between them energy also will be 180 degrees we take it here will become positive force also will be positive so here we got it interaction force is with a negative sign that means it is attractive in nature and varies as 1 by r to the power 4 here we have to note one point if the similar poles of two dipoles faces each other theta is equal to 180 degree so u and f will be positive positive means that is repulsive 
force will be repulsive in nature. So here north and south pole are facing, therefore they are attractive in nature. Second, dipole, dipole interaction B part. Dipoles are perpendicular to line joining their centers. So now these two dipoles are perpendicular. Magnetic moment of the first will be in this direction. This is M1. This will be M2. Magnetic field of this will be north and south pole here. So it will be directed downwards. So magnetic field at the site of this will be directed downward. This is B1. North and south at this point it will be directed B2 downwards. If the similar poles of the two dipole face each other, then the field due to M1 at the midpoint of M2 will be B1 is equal to mu naught by 4 pi M1 by R cube. R is the distance between the two bar magnets. We'll take this distance from here to here as equal to R. So B1 is anti-parallel to M2. Similarly, B2 is anti-parallel to M1. That is theta is 180 degrees. But the couple will be net equal to 0. If the similar poles of two dipole faces each other as shown, the field due to M1 vector at the position of M2 vector, that is at the center point here, will be B1 vector is equal to mu naught by 4 pi, it is M1 by R cube with phase angle 90 degrees. That is O2 lies anti-parallel to M1. Now as B1 vector is anti-parallel to M2 vector and B2 vector is anti-parallel to M1. B2 is anti-parallel to M1 vector. Theta will be equal to 180 degrees. So couple C2 will be equal to M2 cross B1 that is equal to 0. Similarly couple C1 will be equal to M1 cross B2 this is also equal to 0. That is, the dipoles will not exert any couple on each other. Now, similarly, we can calculate the interaction energy. U is equal to minus M dot B. The interaction energy of the system. That is, U for M2 with respect to B1 and M1 with respect to B2. We can get U is equal to minus M2 vector dot B1 vector. That also we can write as minus M1 vector dot B2 vector. It is equal to mu naught by 4 pi m1 m2 divided by r cube. Since m2 is anti-parallel to b1 that is theta is equal to 180 degrees. As m2 vector is anti-parallel to b1 that is theta is equal to 180 degrees. Now force we know f is equal to minus du by dr. So force on m1 due to m2 or m2 due to m1 will be f1 that is equal to f2 we can write it that is equal to minus d by dr of mu naught by 4 pi into m1 m2 divided by r cube which will be equal to mu naught by 4 pi 3 times of m1 m2 by r to the power 4. This is the force. From this it is clear that interaction force is a positive sign that is repulsive in nature and varies 1 by r to the power 4. Interaction force is with positive sign. Positive sign means it is repulsive and varies as 1 by r to the power 4. In this case also let us note if the opposite poles are facing each other. If the opposite poles of the dipole faces each other. Theta will be 0 degrees. Therefore u and f will be negative. Negative that means attraction and varies as 1 by r to the power 4 only. Similarly, we can deal with one dipole is along the line while the other is perpendicular to line joining the centers. M2 is broadside on position relative to M1 while M1 is in end on position relative to M2. So, the magnetic field due to the first magnet will be in this direction because this is north, this is south pole, this is B1. Magnetic moment of this bar magnet is M2. Similarly, magnetic field of this particular bar magnet, second bar magnet at this side this magnetic field will be B2 and the dipole moment of north-south will be in this direction. This is M1. The distance from center to center, this distance is R. So here we have been given M2 dipole moment is in broad side on position relative to M1. While M1 vector is in end on position relative to M2 vector. So what will be the magnetic field? B1 will be equal to mu naught by 4 pi M1 by R cube with phase angle 5 will be equal to now 90 degrees. Similarly, B2 vector will be mu naught by 4 pi 2 M2 
by R cube because this end on position with here with phase angle phi is equal to 180 degrees. So what will be the couple? Couple on M2 due to M1 that is B1 vector will be C2 is equal to M2 vector cross B1 vector that is equal to mu naught by 4 pi M1 M2 by R cube. This will be in clockwise direction as M2 is perpendicular to B1. Similarly, couple on M1 vector due to M2 that is B2 magnetic field we can take. That is C1 will be equal to M1 vector cross B2 vector that is mu naught by 4 pi it is 2 M1 M2 divided by R cube. This is also in the direction clockwise as M1 is perpendicular to B2. So this much couple acts on the bar magnets. Now B1 direction we have taken here. This is the direction of M2 whereas this is the direction of B2 and this is the direction of M1 and the distance between them is R. Now what do you have to calculate? Interaction energy of the system. Now as B1 is perpendicular to M2 and B2 to M1 so interaction energy u is equal to minus m2 vector dot b1 vector that is minus m1 vector dot b1 dot product. So cos theta function will come will be equal to 0. So as u is equal to 0 what will be the force minus du by dr it cannot be used for calculating the force in order to evaluate the force m2 due to m1 let the length of the dipole m2 be 2l so that the field due to m1 at s and n pole of m2 will be respectively we have to calculate respectively the magnetic field on the south pole magnetic field on the north pole once we get the total magnetic field that total magnetic field we need to substitute it and solve this part so we can't use this formula to calculate the force so the length of the bar magnet will take 2l so what will be magnetic field due to M1 at the south pole, due to M1 at the north pole. Let me call the magnetic field due to south pole is equal to mu naught by 4 pi. It is M1 divided by R minus L whole cube. That is opposite to the direction of B1. And magnetic field due to north pole will be mu naught by 4 pi. It is M1 divided by R plus L whole cube in the direction of B1. So one will be in this direction, another will be in this direction. Force is equal to MB. So force on south pole and north pole of M2 due to the field of M1. Force on south pole will be mu naught by 4 pi M1 into the pole strength of the south pole divided by R minus L whole cube. Opposite to B1 and force on north pole will be equal to mu naught by 4 pi. It is M1 into M divided by M is the pole strength of the north pole. R plus L whole cube in the direction of B1 vector. So the net force M2 due to M1 will be F2 force that is equal to force due to south pole minus force due to north pole. That will be mu naught by 4 pi. It is equal to M1 into M divided by R minus L whole cube minus M1 into M divided by R plus L into whole cube. The opposite to the direction of B1. South pole force is greater than the north pole force. So this force F2 can be written as mu naught by 4 pi capital M1 M2 3 R square plus L square divided by R square minus L square whole cube. Opposite to B1. Since small m into 2L will be nothing but equal to capital M2. So the force F2 will be equal to mu naught by 4 pi 3 m1 m2 divided by r cube opposite to b1 vector as r is much much greater than x and as for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction force f1 on m1 will be equal and opposite to force f2 as shown so the force f2 will be in whichever direction it will be in the completely opposite direction to the force which is acting on the first magnet due to the second magnet but net potential energy will be equal to zero. Now in dipole dipole interaction till now what we have studied. Let us put that in a tabular column. So here we will write serial number. Relative positions of dipole. Relative positions. Here we will write the force. Here we take couple. And here potential energy. So first we will take A part. Now what we have studied in A part is. Both the dipoles are aligned in the line. Axis are same. So this is M1. This is M2. So the force between them, attraction force, F. 
distance from center to center r so what is the force we got it minus mu naught by 4 pi 6 m1 m2 by r to the power 4 along r couple net zero potential energy we got u is equal to mu naught by 4 pi 2 m1 m2 by r cube b part we have taken first dipole in this direction m1 second dipole also in the same direction m2 distance between them r the force will be in this direction a repulsive force force is positive plus mu naught by 4 pi 3 m1 m2 by r to the power 4 along the direction of r couple is zero potential energy u is equal to mu naught by 4 pi m1 m2 by r cube c part in this part magnetic moment m1 in this direction and magnetic moment m2 in this direction so the force on this dipole was in this direction force on this dipole is in this direction the couple acts in this direction c1 the couple for this dipole is acting in this direction c2 distance from center to center is r so the force is equal to plus or minus i'll take either direction mu naught by 4 pi 3 m1 m2 by r to the power 4 and it is perpendicular to r perpendicular to r what about the couple on c1 and c2 both couples are there c1 couple is equal to mu naught by 4 pi 2 m1 m2 divided by r cube in the direction clockwise whereas c2 again mu naught by 4 pi it is m1 m2 divided by r cube this is also clockwise potential energy zero this is what we studied till now